a group that had a lot of thing, a lot of fingers pointed at it. Where where do you think this offensive line is right now after a few weeks with them, or several months with them, I guess? Yeah, I, I think it's been about six weeks. But uh, number one, great group of guys work really hard and they care, and I think they've really improved on what we've tried to get done. And I like where we're at. We're a work in progress. We're not a finished product at all. But I think everyone that would say that there's been a lot of progress made and the defense would tell you that, the offensive line would tell you that, and the coaches will as well. So I like where we're at. I like where we're headed. We just got to keep going. And I think we can be a very solid Big Ten offensive line. How much film of this group did you watch later? Did you want to come in with a blank slate or did you really study? I didn't do much of that because I like for it to be, I like to watch them in the off season. So I watched them in our strength mm-hmm. workouts. I watched our 6 a.m. workouts that I was part of and just evaluate that way and then put them through practice and just evaluate and give them all a chance to have a reset start. They're all on reset. Now they can show what they are, who they are, what they need to work on. And uh, that thing, that whole process has gone really well. How much mixing and matching are you doing it with them in terms of positions? Um, they've got to learn all all positions, or we teach we teach it that way. We're going to try to get the five best guys on the field, but for the install, we've kind of stayed fairly static in terms of. I think that when you can plug them into the right spot, so one of the things I like to do is watch them and evaluate and try to get them in the right spots as early as possible. Now injuries sometimes force you to move around. So we do have some players that can play multiple positions.